Welcome to its tomorrow news. I am Hena Talati. Snow and ice causes travel disruption across Britain. Large parts of the Britain are braced for another day of travel disruption as the freezing weather brought extremely dangerous conditions on the roads and thunder snow in the Wales. Police said they were responding to the multiple collisions on the roads across England and Wales after widespread snow and ice in the early hours of Wednesday. Scotland had some of the heaviest snowfall overnight after a polar low brought a short sharp blast of blizzard conditions and temperatures fell to minus 8 degrees Celsius in the highlands. As forecasters predicted a third wave of freezing weather on Thursday, trains grounds to a halt in parts of the England and police said they were dealing with an increase on the road collisions. In Wales, police warned of the extremely dangerous road conditions as a phenomenon known as thunder snow rolled across the country and into the North Devon on Wednesday. Thunders now occurs when the thunderstorms erupt in the wintry conditions and give rise to the heavy downpours of snow, according to the Met Office. In Somerset, authorities declared a major incident over the rising flood water in the country. The Environment Agency, whose staff are on strike, said it was responding to flooding incidents in Somerset, flood risk in the Bristol Avon area and monitoring rising groundwater levels in Dorset. It said declaring a major incident was precautionary move, but it was the second in the county in as many days after the dozens of the construction workers were injured when the bus overturned in the icy conditions on Tuesday. Emergency services responded to the diesel spillage overnight after the fuel tank crashed in the heavy snowfall on the A49 near the town of Whitchurch in the Shropshire. And a mat of his yellow weather warning for the ice and snow was in place for the large parts of the Britain on Tuesday. Forecasters expect another band of snow showers to affect the highlands as well as parts of the Northern Ireland, Wales and Northwest England on Thursday, causing another day of travel disruption for many. The Met Office has warned of the continued travel disruption caused by the ice and snow in the parts of the United Kingdom as a major incident has been declared in the Somerset because of the flooding after the heavy rain in recent weeks. Weather warnings for the snow and ice are in place for four parts of the United Kingdom until midday on Thursday including the Northern Scotland and the Orkney Islands, Northern Ireland and Northwest England, Wales and parts of the West Midlands. Meanwhile, a yellow warning for the ice for Cornwall, Devon and parts of Somerset will expire at 10 a.m. on Thursday. Temperatures could reach minus 9 degrees Celsius in Scotland, minus 6 degrees Celsius in Wales, minus 6 degrees Celsius in Northern Ireland and minus 5 degrees Celsius in England on Wednesday night. The cold snap will continue until the weekend before becoming milder and drier next week as the jet stream weakens and moves northwards according to the Met Office meteorologist. The United Kingdom Health Security Agency has issued the Level 3 cold weather alert for all England which is in force until 9 a.m. on Friday. In Somerset, the Environment Agency said declaring a major incident was a precautionary move after the Somerset levels flooded. It added that the imminent flooding to properties was not expected but said there would be a risk of another week. Workers started up pumping the operation last week to try to get the rid of the sum water from the areas and the additional pumps were introduced on Tuesday at the North Moor and Curry Moor uh, drainage site reached capacity. A total of 56 flood warnings are in place in England, including in Somerset, with no warnings of Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland currently active. Environment Agency said the sight of water on the Somerset levels and moves is obviously a concern to those who have suffered from the flooding before. 
our staff continue to work to the best of their abilities to protect people and properties, install pumps and engage with the communities. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.